Hello friends, uh, welcome back to the video series on uh, design of steel structural elements. So in the previous problems on the compression members, uh, we have seen how to find the design axial load capacity of a member size given to you and the length of the member given to you and the bond conditions of the member were also given to you. So using those things we were able to find out the what was the design axial load capacity of that member. Now here in this example we will do exactly reverse of that the load is given to you the length of the member will be given to you and the boundary conditions will be given to you and you need to find what is a suitable member which can carry that much of load okay so now the problem is design a single angle strut strut is a member which carries a compressive loads connected to the gusset plate uh, to carry a load of 180 kN that is this is a compressive factored load now the length of the member is given as 3 meters and he has not given the boundary conditions so we will assume some suitable boundary conditions for that ok so now what I will do uh, I will first write uh, what is the formula to find out the design axial load capacity that is PD is equal to FCD into A right this is the universal formula to find the design axial load capacity now the load is given as 180 kN so PD I will put it as 180 into 10 raised to 3 newtons right okay and uh, equal to something around A something is nothing but that FCD now what value of FCD I have to take here now you just see these three things now whenever you want to design single angles or double angles or whatever whenever you want to design angles FCD you should always assume something around 90 Newton per mm square whenever you want to design I sections or beam sections as a compression members then you have to assume FCD as 135 and whenever you want to design for heavy or large compressive loads then you have to assume FCD as 200 so these three things uh, should be assumed initially for the value of FCD then you have to proceed and you have to check whether that will pass or not so this uh, design of compression members is actually trial and error process now since I want to design a single angle so FCD I will assume it as 90 Newton per mm square right now uh, PD is the load which is given and 90 Newton per mm square is the FCD which I have assumed and I will calculate what value of A that is effective cross section area is required so it is coming out to be 180 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 90 so which is 2000 millimeter square right so it is 2000 mm square now from the steel table I will choose an angle okay which will have this much of area right almost more than this area so I will just open the steel table okay so I have to check uh, the si single angle which is having a 20 centimeter square area more than 20 centimeter square area okay so I may have a 90-90-12 okay but also I should see that uh, it should have a stiff uh, that is a good radius of garrison so what I will do uh, let me go for I say 100 by 100 by 12 right I say 100 by 100 by 12 means it will it will it is giving 2 to 5 9 mm square as the area okay uh, try ISA 100 by 100 by ISA 100 by 100 by 12 which is having 2 to 5 9 100 by 100 by 12 therefore A provided is 2 to 59 millimeter square right and I will also note down what is the minimum radius of garrison for this angle what is the minimum radius of garrison for this angle so it will be given in the next page so 100 by 100 by 12 is in the uh, fourth row so 100 by 100 by 12 okay so it is almost around 3.03 .03. here it is 3.03 .03. that is since it is an equal angle so rxx will be equal to ryy 
so 100 by 100 by 12 so this is for the 12 so it is 30.3 millimeters so it is 30.3 millimeters now what I will do I will find out KL by R means I am actually checking now whether this angle will really take 180 kN or not so K what we will do we will assume some value for K that is 1 means both ends are spin connection because he has not given what is the boundary condition and he has given that center to center distance between the connections is 3 meters so I will assume it as L is 3000 divided by R minimum is 30.3 so I will check how much it is coming so it is coming 99 99 right so I will refer table 9c why I have to refer table 9c because uh, angles fall under buckling class C so that's why I have to refer table 9c from IS 800 so this gives me a value of okay let me check so ours is 99 so it falls between 90 and 100 for 90 it is 121 and for 100 it is 107 I will use the linear interpolation for 90 and I, would, I want for 99 and this is for 100 so for 90 it is so for 90 it is 121 and 107 121 and for 100 it is 107 okay so there is some problem with the, the LED interpolation so 99 it is almost uh, 100 so we'll assume uh, something around 106 it is 106 FCD I am getting 106 106 mm square so I will find out actually what is the value of PD so it is 106 multiplied by 2 to 5 9 so 106 multiplied by 2259 so I am getting 239.45 kilonewton which is greater than 180 kilonewton design is okay right so this is how we design so in the initial stage what we do uh, we actually assume the value of our piece FCD uh, depending on these three criteria and uh, PD we take it as the load which is given that is a factored load then we arrive at a area of cross section required then we from the steel table we choose a proper section which is having an area little more than that one then uh, we actually note down the minimum radius, radius of garrison for that chosen angle section we find out KL by R with the suitable boundary conditions then from table 9C we actually find what is the FCD so we can see that here if FCD what you are getting is more than the assumed one so you are assured that it will pass okay if it is less than this one so no need to go further it will fail sometimes it may pass because the area required will be uh, area provided is more than the required one so it may pass so it may not pass so you should be very cautious that whenever whatever FCD actual FCD val value you will get it should be more than the assumed one then it will surely pass right then we at the final stage we actually find out what is the design actual load capacity of that member if it is more than the factored load which is given to you then the design is okay if not you have to revise the calculations means uh, you have to uh, this is the trial one so then you have to go for the next trial okay and always uh, keep in mind that uh, you should choose a section which is having a uh, greater radius of garrison because area is not a matter in case of compression members but the radius of garrison matters a lot hope you understood this one so we'll see a few more examples on design in the next video till then thank you bye